Welcome back, friends, to the shop. Have you guys watched the Robot Wars on TV where the engineering teams from the top tech schools put together these elaborate robots to see in the arena to see who can win? Well, I was thinking last night, you know how we used to do those ultimate drill tool tests or the torture tests? What if we made two of the most powerful drills on the market, battle it out in a battle royale robot attack style? <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. So I have what I have here is the two, two of the biggest drills made of the big DeWalt 20 volt brushless and then the big Makita. You know it's big when it comes to the handle like this. What if we mated these together, turn them loose, drop them in the arena and see which one is the last <laughs> standing. But for two drills this powerful, we're going to need a really strong connection. And I think we have it in this tool steel hex fit. I found this in my junk drawer. It's a 10 millimeter Allen head. It's a metric system, so it's no value to anyone. We might as well use it to, for our test. But if we press this out. We have a tool steel hexagon shaped connector that will really lock up good in those jaws. We'll start with Makita. Got a full battery there. We're gonna chuck this up. We'll use half of it. Make sure that those it's fully engaged. We're gonna go low gear, drill, and the clutch set there at maximum. We'll do the same thing with the DeWalt here. Should we put the handles on the same side or opposite side? I have no idea. But I think they need to be tight. Now, if we don't want these things coming on <laughs> accidentally, they're so powerful. If we put this in here, and chuck these together, you know, I think the first time I saw this done for a torture test was uh, our brother in Christ, AVE. Uh, he did it. Uh, I think he was checking some impact wrenches, but it's a, it's a pretty effective way. Oh my goodness, I don't think that I could, I don't think I have anything powerful enough. If I turn these things on right now, my goodness, look out. How we're gonna start them at the same time is gonna be tricky. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's pull the batteries out. Because I think it's gonna be easier to snap the batteries in than to do the triggers the way I'm thinking. So I've got, some zip ties here. What if we zip tie the triggers? Interesting, I pulled that trigger, that light came on like there was a little residual in there. Okay, <laughs> everything tight, clutch set to maximum, low gear, one, one. All right, I think we're ready for combat. So here's what, if we could, I think we should probably take this outside. If we can put, now the triggers are locked. If I can put this in here and very quickly slide both these, <laughs> both of these in uh, before it breaks my wrist, uh, then we'll, we'll, we will see. So let's take it outside and see what happens. I say we do it right here. <laughs> this, is the, this is the arena. Um, so what is this going to tell us? What are we going to learn from this? Well, <laughs> we're going to learn which one's the best put together, I guess, and which one holds up the best. Uh, I have no idea what to experience, but these things should be counter-rotating. It should be uh, interesting. Now, i got to get both batteries clicked in <laughs> at the same time because um, the triggers are locked. Once this goes, it's going to go. If I just push them hard. Ready? Let's count them down. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a robot war. Which one's tougher? It's like they're going out. <laughs> That is the ultimate torture test, I'd have to say.
Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what happened here? What, what did we learn? Well, the Makita was still going uh, with its battery intact. Uh, the DeWalt was not running. I took this thing off of here and re-tested it. It looked like the, a thermal switch cut off. But as soon as this shut off, then the Makita kept going. Um, and I would say that the Makita is the, the clear winner. <laughs> but I don't see any, uh, any damage. Uh, as soon as I took the zip tie off and put, took the battery out and reset it, seems to be functioning fine. Chuck is working. Handle. Perfectly good, not bent, and I don't see any visible damage. A few little scuff, scuffs and scrapes, but really nothing. As far as the Makita goes, same thing. The battery stayed intact. Does the chuck work? Chuck feels, still feels good. The handle, handle got bent a little bit. Maybe you can see that. Got chewed up a little bit there, especially on the end. Uh, but I think I could straighten that. I don't think it really make, makes any difference anyway. But uh, yeah, no damage overall. But uh, I'd have to say, if we're just going to go for a clear out battle royale, that the uh, that the Makita uh, takes the cake. It, it is the better rollback. Uh, it's a better combat drill. <laughs> so what did we learn from this test? Uh, well, we didn't really learn anything other than. Um, um, I'm a petulant child, and grown men never really <laughs> grow up, but uh, pretty tough, pretty strong. wonder what would have happened if we would let them go if that thermal switch wouldn't have counted, I think, or wouldn't have uh, timed out, I would imagine, um, apart from the handles. Who knows? Hard to say. But there we go. We got down to the bottom of it. If you guys appreciate these torture test videos, I invite you to click the thumbs up. We sure to appreciate that comment. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you all on the next video. These are just the kind of classic American mountain processors. I think it's a processing head. We're gonna work on any angle. It see how it self levels. Man, that's big boy logging equipment right there. Big boy stuff. You guys ready?